Hey everybody, I'm Xandy here at Kmon Tolio, and we're back for another Vintage League, and yeah, you guessed it, it has been a really long time. I have been busy in real life, and it's been, I don't know, really I, have, I haven't played a whole lot in the better part of the last six months, but uh, I have gotten online periodically here and there, but anyways, today we're going to play a Black Green Turbo deck, and Turbo is probably a... a a misnomer we've got the uh, dark rituals and what we're trying to do is have a one drop which is thought seize or death right shaman into one of our black two drops which is dark coffin and ogre spore masters which is the new addition of doughty void walkers i really like doughty void walker it's a card i have not had a lot of success when i have played it but i do think it is a good card and this could be the right shell for it Got a couple other hate cards in the deck that are well known in vintage and opposition agent and endurance, certainly collectors. And we've got the uh, four force of vigors to augment uh, our list here. A couple main deck besages, and yeah, I, one of the things I really like about this list we got a couple basic forests uh, in the world of void initiative that is helpful, and being able to circumvent wastelands is. It's pretty important in vintage. So that said, guys, let's take it in with no further ado. And if you haven't done so already, please hit that like and subscribe button. We'll see you around one. Okay, we're playing Renny Randrup, who is a Grixis player. Grixis Tinker. And did we win the die roll? We did win the die roll. So I think this is reasonable. I also think Thought Season is pretty good right now. So let's see how good this ends up looking. I do think we play the Bayou out. Okay. So they've got a basic land cycler, cycler, a force of will here. They also have a turn one wheel. If they would like, how do I feel about that? Like without the wheel, they really have nothing going on. So I think I'm going to take the wheel. I don't think I have the need to play out the emerald here. This could be a top deck hold reacher. It's pretty nice, isn't it, guys? Um, I mean, I think I cast a Dothy Voidwalker and attempt to force a bigger. Maybe we can wait a turn. Let's see what they do here. Another Bayou, and we'll cast the uh, Void Walker. My opponent may not be too worried about this. But this could get a force. Which I'm not averse to. And let it resolve. Let's see if they flash a whole breacher in. So I could see them attempting to try and cast Law Floor Revealed. I know they have a force of will here, and we don't have a lot of gas after this, so. I think I'm going to let them have their turn here. Hopefully we don't get punished for that. Okay, that was a pretty good draw, because that's going to allow me to cast Grist here. Or what I could do, yeah, I'm going to hard cast Grist here. And probably keep the Passage you up in case things go backwards. I don't think my opponent necessarily is going to bite on this because I think they're in on drawing off Lothlorien. Aurorian Revealed. But what I could do is I could 
force of vigor in their upkeep here, causing them to hopefully pitch the Lorien revealed. Okay. So they use double force of will here. Don't think I'm going to besage you here. And I'm going to attempt the force of vigor here. in the upkeep. The Lorien Revealed is a sorcery. So I've set them off of that for a little while. We're going to continue to pressure here. So they're one man away from Lorian Revealed. Is that thought? Seed sure would be good here. Um, so if they have another land, they can just cast it. But I don't think we have a luxury of sitting around right now. Like we, we are going to continue to try and apply some pressure here. And there's my opponent doesn't have a land for sure here. Nurse it. Yep. So I'm feeling like we're probably losing this. I can kill Narset next turn. But I feel like that we're really trying to kill my opponent here. But let's see. One of the neat little combos with Doughty Voidwalker is when you're playing Thoughtseize, being able to take something out of their hand with Doughty Voidwalker in play uh, can allow you to cast it for free. So, you know, your opponent's got that Sphinx of the Steel one stuck in their hand. You take it out of their hand and you just cast it for free. So they've gone and got a Merchant Scroll here. Okay. Of note, I can counter anything they do if I choose not to attack, but of course that is not a winning line. So we're really looking for some sort of gas off the top here. Like I, I would love a thought seize. Okay, so they got rid of Lorian Revealed. I cannot use that until I get rid of the Narset if I choose to draw three cards. I will fetch. Let's get another Bayou. Op Agent. Jeez, that's a nice one. I am going to take Narset away against my better judgment. They are getting low on life, but I really don't want that card in play. So let's see if they merge and scroll here. I 
Two cards in hand, unknown. So I think we take a recall. Oh, they've got a bow masters. Okay, well that's a good one and a force of negation. So bow masters in itself is not going to do it. I think we just get a recall here. Take a recall. So we will do this in response to their Bowmaster, and they are under some pressure to get it into play here. So I don't think they can sit around for too long. Now, they also do have Force of Negation up. So they're both pretty good at responding to the, the Ancestral here. But we're going to force their hand here. Really nice draw there. We're going to force the issue here. Okay. For Hall Breacher and Bowl Masters. This could provide some good safety. I'm not sure how good this is, but this could provide some safety from Orgish Bowmasters, which I find quite appealing. Dark Confident is likely not at its best against Bowmaster, but it is card draw. Let me try this out, guys. I've been really impressed with Orcish Bowmaster so far. Guess we wanted to get rid of Endurance. Hmm, can I keep this hand? I'm going to keep it on the draw. It's, a, it's risky. But I thought Seize is just such a powerful card.
This is a greedy keep, but if it works out, it could be really good for me. I mean, we've got the awkward abrupt decay. Well, this could be a bull masters. One of the nice things about this build that I'm playing is we are not affected by bull masters in the same capacity as a, a decks that are running blue. I am not going to spike the emerald here. I will wait until they have a saga or a second target. This could be, mean I'm walking into a hull breacher, but I think that's okay. So this is a situation where I do want to do that. I'll get rid of endurance here. Very likely a force of will, but no guarantees. Okay, good. So that buys us some time, hopefully. Could this be a bullmaster come down? I can expose their land. Oh, nice. Okay, that feels desperate. The nice thing about the brainstorm is they can protect their hand against a card like Thoughtseize. I don't know if Rennie runs a basic or not. Their most current list, they are running, uh, of course they are running basics, yeah. Not that this requires a basic to play, but I'm going to build underground C, okay. Just wasted their Lotus on a brainstorm. Okay, I'm pleased to have found a land. Obviously, a, a green or black land would have been far more preferable here. But this does set up an op agent here at some point. Yeah, so there's their basic. And we're likely going to be facing down a bowmaster here this turn. I think that's likely what is to be held up. Okay. Not a bowmaster. Okay, well I am going to attack that land. They could gush here. So if we find a black source here, what we could do is dart ritual into off agent um, Thoughtseize. Is a bowmaster likely? No, okay. So I think this is going to get a counter out of them. They're not prop, oh, apparently not, okay. Well, Bowmaster, yep. Yeah. The good news for us is we have a lot of resources. If we can draw a mana producer, yeah, there's a second bow master. That's pretty good. Yeah, really 
faltering here, sadly. I don't think we're going to need three thought seasons here. Okay. I think this is probably our last turn to draw one and the problem that we're faced with is that my opponent has likely got some counter magic at this stage. Bowmaster was a nice draw if I can get the ritual going here. Okay. Don't think this one's going to resolve, but we're going to try. Opponent has six cards in hand. Yep. Yeah. All right. Bowmaster. Good card. Look, I don't necessarily think that Dark Confidence is going to be good in this matchup, but I do like the idea of forcing my opponent to have the Bullmaster. And remember, we do have hand disruption in Thought Seize. So there's no guarantee that they're going to have it. Yeah, like I'm going to have to reconfigure this somewhat. Like these one cast or one uh, toughness creatures are, are suboptimal in a Bullmaster metagame. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's fine. We've got some turn one plays. And uh, Death Ray Shaman, Enforce of Vigor, Mental Misstep, all very good. My opponent has not seen our Orcish Bullmasters this game, although I'm sure they are on their radar. I probably will counter a misstep if they counter my death right because uh, I don't have a ton of mana as I currently stand, and the death right shaman is going to allow me to have two mana and wasteland. Yeah. This feels like an ancestral. I'm not going to force a vigor here. Um I am going to cast the Collector Roof here. I like the ability to wasteland them with the, the Collector Roof here. And so they do have the Ancestral. So that's good news for us because we can misstep it. And my opponent may be able to fight over this, but... Okay. 
Okay, so they did have cluster storms. Well, that's pretty good for them. So we'll see if they find a force of will here. I will attack for one here. I don't see a reason not to do so. So my opponent is thinking about whether they want to counter this or not. And I'm not sure whether that's a good force of will or not, if they have it. But this does take things like Urza Saga away from being functional at this stage anyways. So this is very likely a bull master that we're facing down here. And what I can do, oh, well, that's nice. What I can do is I can facilitate this by making, I'm going to thought seize first. I think this is where I want to be. Now, if they have fluster storm, this is not maybe the best way to do this. But this should get a Bullmaster into play if they have one, and we can plunk it off with our own Bullmaster. It's a Fatal Push. It's a Bullmaster. Okay. This gives us full information if this Thought sees resolves. This might get forced. I could see this being forced. Ooh, they didn't force it. They've got Time Twister. And they've got Tinker. That's pretty brutal. I think I have to take the Tinker. Problem is, is if they time twist me, it could be really bad. Like if, if my Bowmaster doesn't resolve. It has to be Tinker. I am not going to get cute versus them. I am going to plunk their Bowmaster right now. And if they want to force a will, my Bowmaster, which I believe they will, because their Time Twister becomes nullified here. But I don't want to get cute. And like taking those out of their hand is no joke before they draw a blue card, right? Like if I let them on top and try and trick them, I, I just don't think it's worth it because they could easily find a blue card off the top. They're probably 70% blue in their entire deck, 60% blue. Yeah, so we forced their hand here and I feel good about that. I am going to wasteland them. I'm going to take their black source and we're gonna pass turn. I'm not going to attack my collector roof into them. Yep. I think I'm going to save this for a saga. I could attack in with my collector roof and open these both up and then force a vigor in response. And then they have a 
like Flusterstorm gets me. I don't think I need to do that. I am going to mill them here or drain them because I do not want them to have the ability to treasure cruise. And they can do that if they fetch and find treasure cruise. So I'm just going to chip away at their yard here. Pass turn. Could be on a second bowmaster here. And they continue to thin. That was a good draw. Let's see what they got. There's our set. Okay, that was a good one. Yep, same same plan as last time. I'm going to be proactive. We do not want to give them card draw and in dig through time or treasure cruise i might next turn if they don't do anything i might do the line of attack with collector roof okay so that's enough to prompt me to do it next turn for sure yep Do I get rid of my collector roof? That's a thing. Do I trade off here? Just blow these things up. I don't think it's worth it. I think I just continue to drain. This is a dangerous game I'm playing. But I could attack in here. Next turn. Next turn I'll do it, maybe. I don't know. This is really tough. I feel like this collector roof is doing some work here. Yeah, that's not bad. Do I play that? I don't think so. It's another way I can kill Sog. I got a number of ways I can kill Sog here, but. Nope. I think I'd just be patient here, guys. Same thing, gonna be proactive. Like, Tinker's gone, right? We have a number of good draws on our end, like, yep, where's that op agent when we need it, eh? Okay. If 
played out first proactively because I am going to attack in here. And if they have a second Bowl Masters, I mean, it's a blowout, but I, I am going to try and win here. Okay. Mm. No ancestral well. No tinker, no time twister. Brainstorm, okay. Oh, they're just going for it right now. I mean, I can't say I blame them, but they are getting into dire straits here. I do have enough instants and sorceries in my graveyard to be able to fuel my death right here. But I, I suspect my death right could be short for this world. I, I'm probably going to need some help here. Decay is nice. I'm just going in with everything here and I can decay. The double block. Because they do have to block here. They die. So Abrupt Decay was a very nice draw here for me. Cannot be countered. Even without the Decay, this is a this would be my attack. I still have Paseju up here, and we can drain. Yeah. Good game. See you next round. All right. Here we go. Round two. One the die roll, which is great. This hand is not great. Okay, much better. I think we put away the Void Walker, would be my guess. Yeah, we just play a basic here, right? And we just thought sees, yeah. See what they're working with over there. Ooh. They have no white source. Yeah. Pretty nice. Chalice does get me here on my uh, death right. Oh, cheeky. So they have double, du double solitude here, and there's not much I can do about that. I'm going to lead out with the collector roof here. I'd be very surprised if they don't find a land here. Okay, that's good. Yep. Hopefully they solitude here. Dahlia. Okay. I am going to play it out. But I don't feel like I have the option of really sitting around. I think I, think I can play it. Do I just get a Bayou? The only reason to truly get a Bayou here is if I draw a Doughty Voidwalker. But I feel like I have the luxury of 
some time here. My opponent is very likely to just uh, solitude me here. Wow. Okay. What a draw. Yep. That's pretty bad for me. I'm likely to lose now. That was just a heroic draw on their part. But that's the way she goes sometimes. Italian. Wow. Very likely just dead here. I don't really have anything that can race the seasoned Dungeoneer. I guess a Grist. I'm quite a ways away from Grist. This was unfortunate to draw those double dark rituals, but. We can scoop them up. We're not getting through this. All right, we do have some tools for this matchup, though. They might have swords, but I think that's okay. All right, I'm going to try this out. Yep. What would really suck is if they get me with the uh, mana tied creature here. The angel. His hand is pretty vulnerable to it, but we do have some good tools here. Got the Chancellor. There it is. All right. Well, I'm going to expose my uh, swamp here because I can snuff out what they do. If they don't waste me, I can snuff out what they do and pay for the chancellor. That worked out pretty well for me. Oh, Lotus. I can actually assassin stroke me them with a uh, op agent in play. Yep, I mean I like it. It's not perfect because what if they if they have a solitude for my agent, it's not ideal. 
So maybe that said it was just better to go the other way, but it's a bit of a greedy line. But with four mana, they're assuredly going to have a play here. And this might be enough to trick them. And then we'll be able to take the initiative from them. That is the hope here. Okay. I have two pieces of instant removal here. So let's see what they choose. I really hope they do not choose Assassin Trophy here. Soul Red. Okay. So they have a Solitude here. But I am going to remove it. I'm going to attempt to do so. I do not have the option to do otherwise. Oh, wow. Are they going to search? They did. Oh, they got a lot of land there. I think we want black. Okay, I feel like we're in a decent spot here. All right, good win for us. Okay, I like the way we're constructed here. Yeah, this is strong. Obviously, a turn one Thalia. Chancellor can mess this up, but... Oh, wow, they got the on-colored box, eh? This is a Thalia. No. Okay. Um, I can go and get a basic here. Probably a pretty good idea. We get a basic swamp. Cast Black Lotus. Oh, nice head strip mine. Okay. Yeah, they're going to cast. Okay. Well. Hmm. The problem for me is I'm going to lose both my lands here. Hmm. I might have to soul rend this right now. The Thalia. I believe that is the play.
not happy about it, but but I think this is our best avenue to be able to win here. We draw an extra card in our upkeep. And hopefully they don't have any other plays here. It's very nice how diversified our removal is, that they can only choose one piece of it. There is some consideration to killing their mocks here. I wouldn't mind a fetch land. I wouldn't mind a dark or uh, a death right shaman. Dark confident. A snuff out would be fantastic. Snuff it would actually probably just be our best draw. We're getting two cards here. So a tough decision for them. Name's thoughts he's interesting. Okay. Okay, the land was really helpful here. I really like protecting my swamp here. And hope they did not play a land last turn. Oh, I guess they did. They played the one for the anointed peacekeeper. But hopefully they don't have another one. Okay, they got a Chrome Mox. I don't mind the Chrome Mox so much. Hopefully they don't have a Seasoned Engineer. That would be a bummer. Okay, this is a White Plume here. Dalio, okay. Love to find another Basic here. Okay, that was a fantastic draw for me. We just have to hope they don't have any other plays here because I am going to get wastelanded here. But next turn, I will be able to deploy my removal. Damn. Okay, well, that's a bit unfortunate for me. Excuse me. Probably going to lose now. Yeah. That Dahlia is really causing me difficulty here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can go to one. I don't block. It does have that wasteland as well. Right, so let's say I blow one of these up. And I can recast it. I have no I guess I can gain two life. Okay, I'm I'm gonna gamble here. 
This is a bit crazy, guys, but this is the world I'm living in. If they have the season dungeon here, if that's what they've been protecting and they're going to cast, I, I'm, I'm very likely to just lose. Well, not very likely I will lose. But there's not much I can do about that. This is probably going to involve a chump lock. Gain to life. Try and take the initiative back from them and wasteland their stuff. Now, if they force my hand on the death rate by wastelanding me, it's even worse. Which is a smart play if they do. Once they move into trap, I'm a goner. But they're very low on resources here, so I don't know what's in their hand, but. Yep, so they did have the season done here. Yep. So that moves in a trap, and I think I just die. This becomes unblockable. Yep. Yep, that just kills me. Well played. That just literally does uh, lethal to me. Yep. Okay. See you guys next game. Okay, guys. Here we are in round three. We are playing the rock. And this looks like a really nice hand. They did beat us on the die roll, though, which is unfortunate. The good news is, is that we have... Graveyard Heat. And I know Zol 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 likes to play Azar. I mean, th th this might be too late for us anyways, but let's see. It's triple screen. Okay. Well, yeah. Um, that's kind of scary, but we let's find a land. So, Mind Break Trap is definitely a possibility here. But I like Death Rite Shaman here more than I like the Thought Seas. All right, let me think about this. I mean, I'm certainly flashing Endurance, and I will likely do it during their upkeep because I'm going to Wasteland them right here. And so that takes us down to, I, I guess I could Dark Ritual. But that sucks if they counter that with a Mind Break Trap. All right. I am going to Dark Ritual here. Let's see if they want to counter it. Ooh. So they do have another Bazaar. I think I take the Noxious Revival. I really do want to get rid of that Master and just take all of their stuff, but they're just Noxious Revival, right?
And this is going to get bigger because they have to jack their bazaar up next turn. Just going to do it now. Pretty good opener from me, I'd say. All right. So this is going to deal a substantial amount of damage when they chonk this bazaar here. Now the question is, can they find a hollow one? Now, we are quite low on mana here, but if we can find a green source or a death right, should be able to clean up the master. They did not play their Rudwalla. They got a hollow one, yeah, of course. Just stops me cold. Okay, that was a nice draw. So this looks like it might get a force. Okay, well. Okay, I think we're a little lucky my opponent conceded there. Like, yeah, we are, okay, we're a couple cards away, but we're probably, we're going to be all right. non-black creature can't be regenerated. I don't know. Op agent is not very good. Jailer is good. Doughty Voidwalker is good. I like Dark Coffin. Foxy seems reasonable. But we might be under a little bit too much pressure on the draw for Foxy's. Maybe not, though. Certainly these are bad. Force of Vigor is not very good either. Do I want a cage? I don't think so. Particularly on the draw, it's, it's quite poor. Maybe I, I just need a snuff out just as a, a quick wait, or maybe a nature's claim is better. Like the life loss is not trivial. But it is free if I have a swamp. Dark Ritual is certainly a must for Doughty Voidwalker. Bigger gives me game against Fast Hollow One, but that's really about it. Huh. Okay. I, I think this is going to be a tough match, despite all the hate we have, but like if we get a fast uh dark ritual play into a Doughty Voidwalker slash Death Rite, we could be good. Jailer's also strong, but of course I am worried about Fury. I do not have counter magic, so Against my better judgment, I'm going to keep it. Like, it's pretty powerful turn one. If I can get the Lotus writ, writ into play, but Bowmaster is really strong. So, I mean, there's some problems here. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yep. 
Well, that's a good force. It's not so bad. Hopefully they don't have a revival or a second bazaar and then I'm in good shape. Okay. Oh, that was sweet. Library trap. Not sure what's better, the bull master, the confident as bait. Yeah, there's just another one. Okay. Okay. Just need a land now or a green card to, to give me some levity against uh, Noxious Revival. Mm, that was good. Come on, man. They did not get the vine into play, which was lucky. A bit greedy, but I think that with the bizarre activations, like taking their away, away their ability to, like, now I deal four damage alone with the bow masters. Yep, they had fury. Okay, that's really good. But I still have a four four orc here. No, they might be able to get a vine into play here. We'll see. Nope. Green card, no, okay. I just need a green card, bad, or a land. All right. Okay, guys, here we are in round four. If I can take your time, traditionally a standstill player. Hmm. No, we can just do better than this. Yeah, this is more my speed. I don't think I need grist. Given the way this hand is sh shaped. Oh, 
Force Negation. Okay, so they must have an Ancestral. Oh, are they just on Doomsday? Yeah, this is Doomsday. Take Your Time also has a history of playing Doomsday as well. So we're kind of, we're in some trouble here. I do not think I have the luxury of casting Delty Void Walker here. Oh, I really like that. But we want to stifle their development as much as we can here. Okay, so this time we will play Delty Void Walker. Oh, that's a, actually a really good one. I mean, what's more valuable? Probably the Collector Roosh is more valuable. I do think they could win next turn, so I'm going to play the higher risk play, but the higher reward play. And Collector Roof is a far better card here. Did not get dazed. Let's see if they have an Ancestral here. Mystical Tutor. Uh, I don't think I care about that. Because I think it's going to be, yeah, it's Recall. And I, I'm okay with this because I've got the missed up for the better card. So hopefully we don't get roasted here. Good. The Force of Vigor is not good, but what it does allow me to do is it allows me to pitch it to an Endurance should I find one. Yep. So my opponent should have a hard time winning through this. Slide it in. Yep. I actually probably should have wastelanded in response because if they found a gush, it's a bit of a beating. But I will wait to my turn here. I don't need to respond to anything right now. Hmm. It's actually pretty good. But I'm going to take them off of here. Okay. Decay is where it is reasonable as if your Thassa's Oracle trigger is on the stack and they have a card in their library you can negate their play that way. Snuff out might, might have some applicability in that same stream. Like it's probably better than everything else. Like I think Assassin's Trophy is pretty poor. But I mean, it's just so limited what Snuff out can do. I think the trophy is just better. I could play Pithy Needle for Street Wraith. I don't think that's how I want to fight my battle here. Yep.
I'm going to try and get a dark confidant out here. And we can hold up double this, uh, double endurance. They might force here because they have, they're going to have nine cards in hand. Yep, days. Okay. That is definitely suboptimal, but. Yeah, I think we're probably going to lose this one. A lot of sculpting going on. Good news is my opponent does need to discard. Okay, take the guns down here for a turn. Like, we've got to try and do something, right? We can't just let my opponent sit there and do whatever they want. We have to apply some pressure somehow. Mm -hmm. Okay, I do like Wasteland. Gonna cast out the Void Walker here. They might force this. No, nope, not interested. Okay. I think they're just gonna hard cast Doomsday next turn and try and kill me. Basic, right? I think they're just going to Vampiric here is my guess, but they didn't need to do Strand, though. Yeah. Okay. No, we're probably dead right here. Gonna try and take away their ability to gush for a gush kill. Yep. So unfortunately we only have one endurance. We can play around days here, but I think it's very likely my opponent has a force of will. Flusterstorm cannot stop us. See what they exile here will help us dictate how we're gonna what we're gonna pitch, whether it's the other endurance or the abrupt decay. Because in the event we do get to untap, that could be a big game player. But my opponent's got two open mana here, like probably just dead. What's awkward is that I do not have the doomsday to uh, to put on top, right? Right. These these endurances are actually dead with Doughty Voidwalker. What can I get? Mystical tier, nothing. This can go into my graveyard and I can use it. Hmm. 
Yeah, interesting interaction. I can't do anything here, so. I'm going to do it now. Well, is this just freshly cast? No, oh, that's kind of, that's funny. This whole time I'm under operating under the assumption I'm in good shape, but I am not. Okay. It's a bit of a non-bolt, but I still think it's worthwhile. Yeah. We've got a pitch spell, we've got a couple wastelands, and an Orcish Bowmasters is actually surprisingly good against Doomsday with the sheer amount of card draw they have in their deck. Now it's going to be a tall task getting into play, but... Oh, I like that. Fluster? Oh, wow. Okay. Not optimal. Fluster Storm's more or less a dead card against my deck, uh, other than Dotsies, but had I gone the Bowmasters right, it would have been better. bottom. Well, I guess they're short on land. Hmm. Bit of a greedy line, but Days, eh? Wow. I thought about doing the Dark Ritual there. Okay. Okay. I'm going to strip mine. Collector Roof. Okay, this is not optimal, guys, but this is my opportunity to do it. And if they want to force us, it's totally fine. Okay. Wow, nice. I'll take my advantages where I can get them, guys. Ooh, that was a nice draw. One oracle down. Two bottom, okay, sweet. They are churning, but they are not finding lands. Really lucky for us. 
That was a draw. Don't really like any of these if they find a land. These are all kind of really scary. Walk. I think the Dark Ritual is the most dangerous because if they find an Iron Basic, yes, they can Time Walk me or Demonic, but they're gonna they're, they are going to be facing down difficulty with my Wasteland here. How many cards are in my graveyard? Four. Oh, that's pretty good. Next time. Bit of a gamble. I still do have okay, that's really good. One, two, three, four, five. So next turn I can do that and recast Grist, potentially. I mean it's not perfect, but we are my opponent is in a bad spot here. They don't have any card draw. They fade a land here, which they did. It's really good for me. That actually is a very reasonable draw. Because what it allows me to do is we'll wasteland up. Yeah, I, I do it. I think I do it. I mean, this takes me off, off of uh, Endurance, and I know they don't have a Force, and I'm killing them next turn. Yeah, this is just a way better line not to do anything. This takes Street Wraith away. Like, that was one of the reasons I did that, is I knew that they wouldn't be able to cycle. But yeah, that allowed us to play around Days. I could hard cast it if I wanted to. Loyalty three minus five. Yeah, so a couple of turns to pump it up. I didn't think Grist would be any good there at all, but I actually saved my butt. I think my opponent just uh, more than anything just really bricked. Like you see the sheer amount of cards in their yard. Like they did a lot of can tripping there. But we'll take your win where we can get it, guys. We'll see you next round. Okay, guys, here we are in round five of our Vintage League. I know Conrad Kolos is a little bit of a rogue player, but we're going to keep this one. I think against the blind, like, it's just probably very reasonable. We've got interaction here with Force of Vigor. We can untap play a Deathrite Shaman, and, or a, a Thought Seize of a Deathrite, or we can cast a Dark Confidence. Ha! Huh, we got thought seized ourselves. See what they take. I mean, there's a number of spells here that are very reasonable to take my box. My death right shaman, dark confidence, thought seize, depending on what their hand is comprised of, even force of vigor if they're sitting on artifacts.
It's just a thought seize. They protected their own hand, which is very reasonable. Hmm. Well, I'm going to play my land first. I could play Grist here. I don't think I'm going to. We'll see if they counter this. Opening the door for Dark Confident. And here we go. And we still have Force of Vigor up, which is nice. Insofar as Force of Vigor does anything, I don't know. Okay, my opponent has forced. Seems pretty reasonable to take that away from me. Tarn. I'm still not sure what I'm playing against here. Like, could this be Doomsday? Well, it seems it's not a card you... Oh, okay. Well, looks like it is. Alright. Well, what do we want off the top here? Endurance would be good. I mean, we could just be dead right here. A little unfortunate to run into Doomsday twice in a row, but I, I feel like we have a reasonable matchup against Doomsday. Maybe. <laughs> like, what would we want to draw here if we get to untap? Maybe Mental Misstep. Like, if they've gone the gush route here, like, oh, there's gush, okay, so they did do Ancestral. Yeah, let me grab a Lotus. Yeah, I guess that would be our best draw, or an Endurance. That just was a complete and utter waste. I can't look this stuff. Big creature, planeswalker. Yeah, I mean, that's not overly helpful, is it? All right. Well, I think we're dead. Hope they stacked it wrong. All right, well, I 
as I mentioned earlier, if you're just jumping into this video now, casting abrupt decay on a Thassa's Oracle, that's on the stack, like the trigger is on the stack. If they have a card in their library, you can negate their play that way. I think it's bringing a solid safekeeper just as a cheap beat down is probably pretty reasonable. Let's try this out. Let's say you could target their land, shuffle their library, which is pretty bad, but if the doomsday is resolved, it could uh, could be relevant. I mean, Doomsday is quite often finicky. Okay. I think this is good because we have the Endurance to back us up. We've got a Collector Roof on turn two if we can find another land. So something to pitch to the Endurance. We can cast the uh, and Collector Roof. We've got a Mental Misstep and we've got a Thoughtseize. a lot of stuff they can do there. I think we take their Black Lotus, right? And take their Lotus. It's a card that scares me the most. That might not be correct. Especially given I may have the opportunity to shut them off with an oof next turn, but that's the card that really scares me because they can go like, you know, Mox Jet, Dark Ritual, Thought Seize, Vampiric Tutor, Black Lotus, you know, Brainstorm and do some crazy stuff. I don't know. Pretty scary. I will, I will protect my mental mist up here. Or my hand from the Thoughtseize. I don't want them to see I have the Endurance. I mean, they'll take it. So let's hope this is enough. If they drew days, that was a mistake not to play their uh, turn there. Nice. Um, note, I have my best card in the match right there, Opposition Agent, but I'm 100 miles away from it. But I guess a Dark Ritual really changes that. Dark Ritual, come on, Black Lotus. Dark Ritual is even better. Yeah, look at this. <clears throat> Are they going to upkeep Vampiric? So are we going to get there here? Like an opposition agent resolving is pretty hard on my opponent. Especially because I'm going to steal their ancestral here. Or I could just go get a land. Okay. 
Black Lotus is pretty solid too. Oh, two ancestral. Yeah, that was just sweet. Let's see if we can make our work. We did. All right. I mean, this is not easy for them here. Their fetch lands are shut off. Slam collector roof next turn. Okay, not as shut off. They're down to one mana. Yeah, Bull Masters is looking really good here next turn. I maybe want the second collector roof in there though. It's really powerful. Wow, okay. Yeah, they can't get through a Bullmaster off agent and and collector of here. All right. I think we're constructed just fine here. Game three for all the marbles, folks. And we're on the draw. I think we'd like Black Lotus in our opener. That would be my first ask. <coughs> Excuse me, an endurance with a green card to pitch. Bill Masters thought sees Wasteland and a Bayou. I think that's a reasonable place to start. Ooh. Well, there's Dark Ritual Op Agent again. And we've got uh, Misstep to give us a little bit of push in here. Where it becomes scary for my opponent is if they play a fetch and they sit on the fetch to protect it from wasteland, there is a world where I can punish them for that. Yeah, 
down and Sandstrom. Oh, okay, that's actually a good draw for me. Okay. Do I do this here? Probably. I'm going to stop the brainstorm here because they have the fetch. I don't want to give them the extra filtering here. Because I have the second off agent here, I know I, I don't have it this turn necessarily, but I feel like it's not unreasonable. And like if this resolves, yeah, it's just really powerful. Oh, so good, guys. I still think it's worth keeping the Basaju in hand at this stage because that next turn I can cast a death rate and use the Basaju. Like if they somehow are able to remove, you know, counter my opposition agent, you know, remove my other one. Yeah. Okay. That's a dead card currently. I don't really like giving them the extra draws here, but. Like, as in, like, I could cast the off agent while I have an opportunity. I'm going to cast another one here and see if I can just get it in. Oh, they just conceded. Okay. I mean, I think it's unlikely they were going to get through that. But anyways, guys, deck ran really well today. I do appreciate you hanging out with me as always. And if you haven't done so, hit that like and subscribe button. And yeah, I, I'm not sure about any changes I would make to this. I felt like it ran really quite well. The only awkward piece that I didn't put together really with reference to Doomsday in particular is that if you have a Doughty Void Walker in play, <laughs> Endurance is a useless card because all their cards are exiled. So nothing goes to the yard. So, you know, when the Doomsday is... A pile of five is going off. Endurance does not impact the graveyard like a surprise attack, which of course I won a lot off of that play. But um, of course, there's a shortage of cards that we can use in that particular matchup, so we're we're kind of just scrabbling things together. It was only relevant the one time, but um, anyways, yeah. Otherwise, I ran really well. Orcus Bowmaster, super sweet. Uh, Dark Confident. I don't actually. I, I drew one card off it. The entire set of matches. Um, I think it was just more byproduct. I didn't have it in hand. I, I, I did get killed by Fury once, but not a Bowmaster. But Bowmaster is the card that perhaps makes this less um, appealing than it has been in the past. And the same with the excellent Jailer. Like Bowmaster. I guess decks that you're running Jailer against are not really running Bowmaster, so it's not so much of a problem. So we could side these out. But, anyways, just a couple. Things to think about. Uh, of course, you can't always have perfect synergy in decks, but I think the potential of you know going dark ritual into thought seize into one of these really powerful plays is something to consider. And uh, in addition, we could be running griefs in this deck as well. Um, something to think about. You know, the scam decks are, are running around. I know Justin Janari was playing with a scam deck in, in Vintage, and uh, I, I think it was a I'm not sure if it was just a mono black version, but it was uh, doing quite well for him, apparently. And uh, that's something we could consider as well, because we do have some room to innovate in this deck. Anyways, guys, that said, we'll talk to you next time.